Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Math School Learn to Succeed. In this channel, I'll be teaching you Karnataka Board Class 10th SLC Insert Math. In today's video, let us solve the question number 4 and 5 from exercise 1.2, chapter number 1, Arithmetic Progressions. In my previous video, I have solved the question 1, 2 and 3. If you have not watched that video, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. Now coming to the fourth question from the exercise 1.2, it says which term of the AP is 78 okay this is the given ap we have to find out which term of uh, ap is 78 whether it is the fifth term sixth term or 11th term we have to find out the which term is 78 we have to de determine the n value where a n value is given that is equal to 78 so applying the nth term of an ap formula where a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into D. We have to find out the A and D value from the AP given. So A value is the first term in the AP that is equal to 3 and D value will be second term minus the first term that is 8 minus 3 D value equal to 5. So substituting these value in the formula we get A n is 78 equal to A value is 3 plus n minus 1 into d is 5. So let us simplify that is 78 is equal to 3 plus 5 n minus 5 or 78 is equal to 3 plus 3 minus 5 plus 5 n or 78 is equal to 3 minus 5 is minus 2 plus 5 n. Sending this minus 2 to the left hand side we get 78 plus 2 is equal to 5 n or it is 80 is equal to 5 n or n is equal to 80 divided by 5 where n is equal to 5 ones are 5 ones are 5 5 eights are so n is equal to 18. The 18th term of the AP is 78. Therefore, let us write down the 18th term of AP is 78. So question number 5 says find the number of terms in each of the following APs. There are two parts of the question. So here we have to find out the number of terms in the given AP. If we consider the question number 1, so this term is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term and this is the nth term term so we have to find out n value here to determine the number of terms in the ap so we have to find out the n value let us first assume nth term b 205 so therefore the nth term formula given by a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a value is equal to the first term that is 7 and d is given by a2 minus a1 that is 13 minus 7 since a2 is 13 here and 7 is the a1 term so we get d value is equal to 6 okay so let us substitute all the values like a n and d in the nth term formula to define the value of n so what is a n value a n is 205 is equal to a is 7 plus n we have to find out n minus 1 and d is 6 therefore we get 205 is equal to 7 plus 6 n minus 6 so 205 is equal to what is 7 minus 6 is 1 plus 6 n or transferring 1 to this side we get 205 minus 1 is equal to 6 n or it is 204 is equal to 6 n or n is equal to 204 divided by 6 that is 2 3s are 2 1s are 2 2s are or 3 1s are 3 3s are 9 carry 1 3 4s are 12 so we get n value is equal to 34 so we can say that the number of terms in this ap equal to 34 therefore number of terms in an ap in the ap is equal to 34 so similarly let us solve the second part of the question so let us first assume the a n term be equal to minus 47 so from the nth term formula we have a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where a value is the first term of the ap that is 18 and d is equal to a2 minus a1 where a2 is a fraction that is 15 1 by 2 minus a1 is 18 
let us convert it into the fraction form 15 twos are 30 plus 1 it is 31 by 2 minus 18 or taking the lcm 2 this will be 13 minus 18 into 2 is 8 2 is 16 carry 1 2 1 is 2 3 so this will be minus 31 minus 36 is 5 by 2 so d value is minus 5 by 2 so let us simplify the values here in this formula and find out the nth value a n is minus 47 a value is 18 plus n we have to find out and d is minus 5 by 2 so minus 47 bringing this term to this left hand side we get minus 18 is equal to n minus 1 into minus 5 by 2 how much is minus 47 minus 18 we have to add the terms so 7 plus 8 is 15 carry 1 4 plus 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 so it is minus 65 if we again transfer this minus 5 by 2 to the left hand side we get into minus 2 by 5 is equal to n minus 1 so 5 ones are 5 by 3 is a 15 so we get here minus and minus also will get cancelled so 13 into 2 is 3 twos are 6 and 2 ones are 2 so this is 26 is equal to n minus 1 or n value is equal to 26 plus 1 when 1 transfers to this side it will become 26 plus 1 therefore we get n is equal to 27 so number of terms in this ap is nothing but 27 therefore the number of terms in the ap is n is equal to 27 in my next video i'll be solving the question number six from exercise 1.2 so till then like and share my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you